Okay, back on on Simone Biles. I've been following her since before her verification days. I've talked to her many times. Um, um, I, I actually have some pictures with her. She likes a lot of my posting. She, okay. Um, when it was revealed that she was abused by Larry Nasser, I cried. My favorite gymnast, Donnie Luciano, was posting to support her, and some idiot came on and accused her of being a steroid junkie. And I said, dude, Don is posting about a friend who was sexually abused, wrong time, wrong place. The night before Larry Master was sent to the England Tonight, I could not sleep, and keep in mind I had to go to work at 6 in the next day. So I am unable to sleep, I get up, I get on my iPad, I go on Twitter, I was there at the time on Twitter, and of all the people I follow, she's the one that I see come up my feed. She said, I'm in so much pain, and, and I could not sleep, I cried. Of this girl being abused, I cried. Now, with all the protests and riots and looting and terrorism going on lately, I see something. Okay. Do not share pictures or videos including protests or spaces or identifying features that police will find and charge them. Okay. Protest. This is America. Can the police arrest you for protesting? No. Can they arrest you for looting, arson, assault, terrorism? Yes. Many white supremacist groups are creating fake protests and yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. For protesters. Donate. To the victim, yeah, to the point of black owned businesses bullshitting on it. Here's the deal. Bail does not mean you're excused from all wrongdoing. Bail means that you get arrested and you get bailed out. And when you're bailed out, do you still have to go to court in the daytime for your trial? But you're allowed to go home at night. That's what bail means. Bail means you go home at night. Well, what if you go home at night and at night you can do a robbery or burglary or riot or some shit? And all these bail, bail, protesting, bail, and bail, bail, bail. You're bailing out terrorists, okay? You're bailing out guys that burn stores owned by black people, stores in black neighborhoods that help black people, pharmacies, grocery stores, things that black people need. Info on prison abolish, abolishing. Okay. Now, abolishing prison means everyone in prison is let out forever. And there is no more prison. Who's in prison now? The guy that abused Simone. He will get out too. How nice.
One more thing I'm looking for. You support black businesses even though you're building up the guys that burn them down. Spot undercover cops. Why would you want to spot an undercover cop? Maybe you're breaking the law. Well, if you're teaching guys to spot undercover cops, that could put them in danger, can it? Hmm. Here's the issue. They hurt black people. They killed a black retired cop. Okay? They beat a white guy to, to death. I just thought he died tonight. Okay? Simone Biles lives in a mansion. She comes from a wealthy family. Okay? She comes from a very wealthy family. And her very wealthy family has a mansion. What happens if Simone donates to one of these organizations? Like the, the, bail, the bail people and shit like that? And they get bailed out. And while they're on bail, they bomb her mother's house. Hmm. <laughs> Voila. The dogs. Click. Four o'clock in the morning doing this. Okay. Simone Biles is going to be advertising. No, she didn't write that shit. She, but she advertised it, put a link to it. She's going to advertise. For guys that want to bail out terrorists, they bomb black owned stores. They kill black people. Okay? Yes, George Floyd should not have died, period. That was wrong, period. But you donating money to terrorists that kill black people and burn black stores is not going to help the problem. Nor are you going to help the problem by. I don't know, showing how to identify undercover cops, giving guys tips to avoid filming the protesters, you know, don't film the protesters, don't film the rioter, don't film the terrorists, goodbye goat, fuck yourself.